Doesn't... Hello there. I have my camera propped up on a box. Any hoosies, this is a freestyle vlog. <laughs> you know what's funny about that right now, how I got distracted? Literally, there was a squirrel crawling on the power line outside my window. And I, I looked. All right, so this is a freestyle blog, meaning I didn't prepare what I'm gonna say. And I'm not quite sure why I'm doing this. One of the challenges that I have with talking to a camera and knowing that other people will see it is I don't quite know who I'm speaking to. So if I'm talking to somebody, somebody obviously specific, it's a specific person that I'm talking to normally in real life, I, I uh, might sound bad, but it's like your personality changes, right? I think we all do this, whether you realize it or not, you you change depending on who you're talking to. If you're talking to your boss, you talk to them a little bit differently than you would your coworkers. Even among your coworkers, you might talk to you know, certain coworkers a little bit differently, right? Depending on uh, their personalities and such, different friends, people that you've just met, you, you speak to them differently, right? So when I'm talking to the camera like this, it's kind of like, well, who's gonna hear this, right? So, one of the challenges I've had making uh, videos is is talking to the camera, but it's almost it's like an uneasy feeling that I have in my mind because I feel like almost like I have to appease everybody. Everyone's got to be pleased with my message, and instead of being in the present, in the conversation, I find that I'm analyzing my conversation the the presentation to you while I'm having it and consequently I end up end up watering down and filtering out many of the things I would like to communicate just because I'm like well Joe sees that he's not gonna like that or Lauren she may disagree with what I have to say those are just made up names I'm just hypothetically speaking, right? Anyway, um, I'm going to just talk about what's going on in my life because looking at my YouTube channel and going back and kind of seeing some of the vlogs, it's pretty cool to see you know, myself speaking, right? Speaking about specific things that are going on in my life and to me it's almost like a diary it's a video diary of what's happening so I want to do this for myself but then I wonder you know why do I have to put it out for other people to see what's up with that I don't know I don't know if I have a good response to that Maybe I like attention. I'm sure I know I like attention, right? Um, but I don't, I don't want to do it for attention. Uh, you know, I'm losing my train of thought here. I, one of the reasons I want to do it is because I don't want to, I don't want to present myself in such a polished way. And I know that I don't come off that way, right? It's funny because, uh, you know, I've been told that, that the stuff I put out is completely unpolished, right? It's just, but I still think about what I'm gonna do. I still, I still filter out the things I'm gonna say. And I'm still gonna do it now, right now, talking to you. I'm not saying I'm just gonna come at you completely transparent, right? But obviously, right, even in this video, I feel like, oh man, if, if I was doing this before, I'm like, dude, this is boring, no one's gonna care. 
I guess I, I guess what I want to do also is I want to put out content and information whatever out there and care less and less what or how it's received um, it's it's kind of like a, to go back to what I was saying about how personally I find myself changing right about how I approach different people I want to try to dial in and get as get as close to maybe what you could call a true self what my true self is when I'm when I'm talking to the camera okay uh, that may offend some people uh, I know a lot of people may not like it and I want to I want to become more and more comfortable with that is one of the other reasons why I'm doing this right now um, Because already in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, they're going to judge me. They're going to think that I just want attention or this this video is boring. Why is Paul doing that, right? Like I'm projecting out the responses that I think that I'm going to get. And even if I get those responses, and even if you guys feel that way, I want to be okay with you feeling that way. One of the other challenges I have that with making videos is I'm constantly paranoid about how long the video is going to be right this video is too long it's too much information people just zone out within seconds so i got to have all these flashing pictures to just keep them engaged and uh i still want the videos to be short i still want them to be engaging I just want to care a little bit less about those kind of things. And the weird thing too is I actually like I like editing. I like putting together video content that's more cool and engaging. Even when I look back at my own stuff, sometimes my own stuff I'm looking at I'm like, dude, this is boring. You know, like <laughs> change it up, right? So even in this this vlog that I haven't even really said much about what's going on in my life, but I'll probably end edit it, right? So it's it's kind of weird because it's maybe you think of it like a rap, a rap, like Jay Z supposedly raps freestyles, right? But it takes him a lot of like he freestyles it, but then you put beats which were premeditated. People sat down and thought about that and put it together. They took certain parts of certain spontaneous raps and constructed it into a coherent rap song. So it's freestyle off the cuff, yet it's premeditated. And perhaps this is what this will be. So anyway, let me start talking about myself, right? Because <laughs> that, that is what a vlog is, right? Uh, a blog is when you write out stuff, right? And then a vlog is like a video presentation, typically on what's going on. Let me see, you know, let me just keep talking some more about other stuff, just random. Not really random, but, um, you know, I, I had a problem with vlogging for a long time. I made a lot of videos, but I never really made videos about just talking to the camera about what's going on in my life, right? It was always, hey, do this because this is good for you. Or I might, you know, indirectly talk about personal experiences, but it was never just coming out about me, 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 right? Then I heard a quote. I don't know if you'd call it a quote, but there's there's a, a sequence of processes that needs to happen before people will kind of be influenced by you. I believe it's know me, trust me I don't even know what it, what this thing is is know me see this video is a cluster and that's fine I'm okay with that I'm gonna keep it I'm not gonna I'm not gonna delete this video I'm gonna keep going know me I forgot all I know is part of that sequence is know me before you trust me or before I can 
influence, right? So part of part of the reason I'm probably putting this out is because I have some kind of desire inside me to influence. I think all of us do and all of us influence regardless of whether or not we want to influence. And that's all I'm going to say about actually, you know what, forget it. I'm going to actually say what I was just thinking, because I found myself, I found myself, what's that word? Censor. I found myself censoring myself right now. But I don't want to censor myself completely censor myself a little bit. But anyway, what I was thinking is, okay, I, I recently read a book called uh, The Only Thing, The Only Thing. And in The Only Thing, one of the things it talked about is discovering your life's purpose, right? So I sat down and I thought about it. And I'm not saying like this, is, it's not a concrete, this is my life's purpose. But uh, what I came up with is I want to be like a lighthouse. I want to be like a hand. I want to be like a finger that's pointing to God. I want when people see me and they see my life and they see what I've done, they see my character, I want I want it to point to God. I want to be a representative of God to the best of my ability. Does that mean that I'm perfect? No. Far from it. Far from being perfect. But that's that's what I that's what I want to do. And as you can see, it's a lot of times it's hard for me to talk about that kind of thing, especially on video because I don't know who's who's hearing this. A lot of people who are just burnt by the idea by God, people who don't believe in God, people who don't want to hear anything regarding God, that's fine. That's cool. Then just don't listen, right? So, okay, here we go. Vlog. Dang, 12 minutes in? Oh my goodness, dude, this is crazy. All right, here we go. Yeah, see, that's why I just can't care. Can't care. Who cares? Now I'm looking at myself. Got to make sure everything looks good. A little late for that. Okay, so check this out. Okay, uh, recently, what, what I've done uh, with myself is I've deleted Facebook and Instagram on my phone. Now, what I found is I found myself just too plugged in. I was looking at those those apps just way too much right so I made a rule for myself that I would never get on Facebook or Instagram when I wasn't in my home and that that really helped um, but what I found is while I'm at my house I found that I was still still looking at it too much right still looking at those those apps and I felt, I just felt like that wasn't good. I, I felt like I wasn't really gaining anything from it. So I deleted them off my phone. Um, another thing that I've done recently in my life is I've made a rule for myself that I cannot look at YouTube videos unless I'm in this room, my office, right? So my rationale behind that is again I'm just looking at YouTube videos and all of a sudden next thing you know just a couple hours fly by and I just I don't want to do that anymore deleted deleted those off my phone so what I've been doing recently I feel like because my mind is just so used to just constantly looking or listening at something what I've been doing is I've been listening to audiobooks now, I don't know if that's the best thing, but I do think it's better than just browsing Facebook uh, or looking at Instagram or YouTube. So by the way, uh, if you don't see me liking any of your stuff, that's because I typically, I won't even look at the news feed anymore. Now, if you tag me, you put, you put Paul, right? You tag my name, I'm, I'm going to go look at it and I'll like it or comment or whatever, but I'm not looking at the news feed. And I've been doing that really bad with judging time. Seems like a couple months, something like that. But my sense of well-being has just improved. It really has. My sense of well-being has increased, and I love it. You know, a lot of times people look at me and they say, "Paul, you're just so you're just so happy all the time. Does anything ever get you down?" Yes, I'm I'm human. You know, that's the way it goes. Um, as a matter of fact. 
I guess I can talk about this in the sense of it's kind of going into the past a little bit, but most of you know that I trained from my garage gym, my garage gym, and I did that for two and a half years, right? So at the beginning, all was good, loved it, and you know, more time, more freedom. There's a lot of perks that come with it. Um, one of the major drawbacks I didn't even realize, and that was being kind of cut off, disconnected from people. Now my whole life I've always been in social situations, school, other jobs I've had, I've just been around a lot of people. And I didn't realize how that affects me. Uh, that if it affects me in a positive way i just love to be around people i like you know, it kind of weird i don't know if it's weird or not but like anytime i look at people i just see i see rock stars in them uh and even if i don't necessarily like the people it's almost like they're just characters in a video like a movie or something right they might be annoying or you know, they do something I don't personally, let's say, like or doesn't resonate with me. They're they're like a character, right? And in a movie, we don't want all the characters to be perfect. We want contrast and all that. So anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is being working from home, I was completely cut out from that, right? I would see my clients and my clients are good and all that. It's just they're not the only people I want to see. And at that time, I was also doing uh, virtual coaching. So I would have phone calls. And uh, that wasn't just enough human interaction for me. Why did I start talking about this? So I, I think what I'm trying to get at is the human elements very important to me. I completely forgot what I, what I was saying, honestly. <laughs> oh, gosh. See, I, I'm like thinking, oh, man, people are going to think Paul's crazy. And it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I, I got these I got these apps I uh, I got the audible app actually you know what you know what I, I just finished well I just finished reading two really good um, audio books okay one is the one is uh, the only thing the only thing I highly encourage you read that and then another one is mere Christianity and I've talked about this before um, it's rare that I'll get on Facebook and say hey you know check this out but mere Christianity is on point that book is awesome and I, I just recently I'm actually looking at the time and it is almost it's 18 minutes I you know I am gonna cut this down I'm not gonna go over 20 minutes so let me just let me just say some stuff that's happened in my life okay so um, so I've been listening to audiobooks right oh I'm doing a 60-day challenge <laughs> We have this thing going on at work where you try to make as big of a transformation as you can within yourself. So I'm doing that. I'm writing down. I'm documenting exactly what I eat using an app called Lose It. I made a video about that. You guys can check it out on how to use that. And working out every day. Actually, yesterday was the first day that I didn't work out. And um, I just I got home and I just crashed out. I know a lot of people think you can't catch up on sleep, but somehow I feel like you can. We got this hurricane that's coming, and I've always been guilty of just not, I don't know, not, I don't know if it, the right terminology is feeding into the hype. Maybe it, maybe it's crazy, right? Maybe my house gets blown to pieces, I don't know. But I feel like it's a double-edged sword. I, I get myself in into trouble because I won't, I, like I don't get scared about stuff like that. Um, like my dad just came over and he's like, you need to get water and get food and make sure, you know, and I'm just like, all right, fine, whatever. Um, I'm not trying to come off like I'm fearless. I'm scared of lots of things, but there are just certain things I just, I just don't care about. Um, what else? What else can I say in this vlog for myself, I guess? I'm at Lifetime Fitness. Most of you know that. And I'm really loving it there because maybe that's what I talked about before, but I just love being around all the different people. I love being around all the different trainers, learning from them, having different like larger group classes versus just one-on-one, -on -one. Uh, just talking to members that aren't even my client. I love that aspect of it. Just absolutely love that. 
And um, that's 20 minutes. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that for now. But don't be surprised if there's more videos like this. And that's it. If you don't like it, don't watch, right? Cool. All right. God bless you all. Oh, another thing. Um, I'm getting on Facebook less and less frequently. So if you do comment or whatever and I don't get back until a day or two later, uh, don't take that personally. It's not because I'm ignoring you. That's it. All right. All right. God bless you all.